Hi everyone, Tom Larson here with Tech Training for Teachers. Today I'm excited to announce the arrival of a highly anticipated Google Docs feature called eSignature Requests. While this new feature is currently in beta version, and not yet available for all users, it nonetheless looks promising. We're going to show you what it looks like and how it works. Let's get started. One quick note, the eSignature feature for Google Docs and Google Drive is in beta. If you have a workspace individual account, you should have access to this feature. Unfortunately, if you're on other eligible workspace plans, the beta signup is over. You'll have to wait for the official full release. Here we have a sample fundraising form that we'd like to add e-signature fields to. Click the Insert menu, and then choose Signature Fields. You'll notice a side panel appear. To get the field into your doc, simply drag and drop. Here I'll add an e-signature field. I'll also add a date signed field. Because I'm requesting more than one person sign this, I'll go into the insert fields for drop down menu and choose manage signers. At this point, we'll click add another signer, enter the label, and then click save. Now I can drop the signer two fields in place. If you're satisfied with how everything looks, click the blue Request eSignature button. A pop-up window will appear where you will enter the email address of the individuals whose signature you are requesting. Enter an optional message to the recipients in this area. When you're finished, click Request eSignature. You'll see another pop-up informing you that the eSignature PDF is about to be shared with others including those outside your organization, if applicable. For sake of this demonstration, I'll click Share Anyway. You'll see the eSignature PDF get created, and then be presented with a link to track the eSignature process. The same link will also appear in your Gmail inbox. The recipient who you intend to sign the document will get an email with the signature request. They simply need to open the link. Here it is, you'll notice that only one area is able to be signed. The other area is reserved for the other signer. This signer will click the blue sign box. When they do, a new pop-up will appear where their signature will be adopted. They type in their name and initials and then click the adopt and sign button. The document is submitted when the signer clicks the mark complete button. And of course, they'll need to agree to the terms of service for the e-signature to go through. Once all the signatures have been gathered, the document creator can go to their email and click the direct link to the signed file. Here it is. You can see the signatures as well as the audit trail that appears on the last page. The file is located inside the document creator's Google Drive and can be accessed whenever necessary. We provided a link to a support article from Google in the video description to help you learn more about this new e-signature feature. What do you think? Let us know in the comments section. And hey, if you enjoy watching videos like this, be sure to subscribe and sign up for notifications so you know the moment new content is posted.